Hey everyone. So this next topic is about uh, biochemistry and more specifically the urea cycle. Uh, a lot of questions on step one are about the urea cycle and what I'll do is I'll try covering most of them here and uh, give you uh, basically some insight about how to answer them, okay? Now again, um, let's first talk about what is uh, urea, right? Um, all it is is a uh, amine group attached to a carbon attached to uh, another amine group, okay? Um, what this basically means is that there are, this is just a way to get rid of ammonia from your body, okay? And that's what we call urea. When you have two ammonias attached to uh, this carbon structure here, that's urea, okay? Now again, um, where is it made? What organ? The liver, right? Okay, now once urea is made in the liver, where does it go? It goes into the blood, right? The bloodstream. Where does it go from there? Kidneys. And it gets urinated out. Okay? Now, this urea, whenever you see the lab values BUN and creatinine, and I know you see that all the time, the BUN, what that stands for is the blood urea nitrogen, okay? And this is actually directly correlated with the amount of urea in your blood, okay? So if I have a patient, now again, with cirrhosis and fibrosis, liver cirrhosis, what do you expect their urea level to be? High or low? Again, a patient with cirrhosis, it would be low. Why? Is because, again, it's made in the liver, and if it's, if it's the liver is shot, it's not working, can it produce urea? No, so their BUN would be low, make sense? whereas their ammonia levels would be high, okay? Because there's no way to convert ammonia to urea BUN, okay? Make sense? Now, let's, uh, let's more uh, talk about um, the, basically the whole pathway here. Now, we have in, again, this is all ha uh, happening in the hepatocytes, okay? And every hepatocyte has organelles, right? Especially mitochondria. And we have the cytoplasm, right? Now, the big thing on step one is they love asking you what steps occur in which organelle. They'll ask you, oh, which enzymes are in the mitochondria, which enzymes are in the cytoplasm. And I know that seems like a lot of information, but I'll help tell you and give you some more insight um, as to how exactly they ask you that, okay? So the first step. Um, before I begin, do you need to know the urea cycle in depth, this detailed? Yes, okay, I'll tell you that right now. Um, don't waste your time trying to get through it in, with any shortcuts, you have to memorize it. And I wouldn't tell you otherwise because uh, they ask so many questions about it that it's worth memorizing, okay? So what's the first step? We have CO2 plus NH4, okay? This is uh, converted into what? Carbon oil phosphate, right? Now, what enzyme does this step here? Carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1, okay? What's so important about this enzyme? It's the rate limiting enzyme, okay? That is the most important thing. If they ever ask you the question on the US Lemme Step 1, they give you a whole paragraph about urea, uh, et cetera, et cetera, that they're, you know, mice um, re conducting a research experiment, and they're known to do that. They give you a whole paragraph first about irrelevant information, then they ask you actually a very simple question at the end. Um, and they'll ask you, what is the rate limiting enzyme for the urea cycle? What's your answer? carbon oil phosphate synthetase 1, okay, this enzyme here, and it converts CO2 plus uh, NH4 to carbon oil phosphate. Now, the other question they can ask you is, where is the rate limiting enzyme of the urea cycle located? That's right, in the mitochondria. There's your answer, right? Because this enzyme, all this is happening in the mitochondria here. So now, what happens? This carbon oil phosphate goes to, inside the cytoplasm, gets converted to citrulline, okay? 
Now, what enzyme does that? Ornithine tricarboxylase. Okay, I just made a um, abbreviation here, but you can look up the the longer name. Now, again, you have to know these enzyme enzyme names. They all they'll you know what what even they can ask you is they'll show you this diagram of the urea cycle. Label this enzyme as A. It, they won't write oh, like ornithine tricarb tricarboxylase. They'll label this as A and ask you what's enzyme A. Or they'll label this as B and ask you what's enzyme B. So they might even show you the whole diagram first, okay? So be able to answer it that way. Now, next thing. Citrulline turns to arginosuccinate. Okay, what enzyme converts this? It's arginosuccinate synthetase, okay? I'm just going to um, abbreviate it here. Okay, what is so important about this step? This is the step where aspartate comes in. Now, you're wondering, well, what is that? It's an amino acid, right? Well, what's so important about it? Let's go back here. Look at urea. You notice it has two uh, uh, amine groups on it? Well, one of the amine groups came from here initially, right? Where did the second one come from? From aspartate, okay? That is a USMLE question, okay, that they love asking. They love, they love showing you this picture here, um, and they'll, they'll ask you, oh, well, this one came from, you know, the blood and proteins, uh, et cetera, et cetera. What, where did this um, um, amine group come from? They, they, they'll ask you that, and the answer is aspartate. They'll give you a list of amino acids. They'll give you uh, arginine, lysine, et cetera, et cetera, then aspartate will be there. That's the answer, okay? That's where the second ammonia uh, came from. The second thing is know the structure, okay? Because if they show you, if they won't, they won't be nice enough to just show you, you know, urea. They'll actually just show you the NH2C, NH2 with the, you know, the, the oxygen on it, and then expect you to know what exactly this is, okay? So know the structure as well, all right? <clears throat> all right, let's move on now. Arginosuccinate turns into arginine, right? All right, and what enzyme does this? Arginosuccinase. Okay, again, um, I know it's really detailed information, but you have to know these uh, enzymes. Like, as easily as they labeled this A and B, they could label this C and ask you, what's this enzyme? Okay, um, this is where fumarate comes off. Do you need to really emphasize in detail what that is and that it comes off here not really I, I haven't really known them to ask that too much they ask these other th these other questions more so but still I would know that fumarate comes off here okay okay so now we have arginine arginine goes to ornithine okay what enzyme does that arginase again you have to know the enzyme right what is so important about this step? This is a step where urea is produced, okay? Arginine uh, gets cut because arginase, any, any enzyme that has an ace on it means that it cuts, okay? It cuts off urea, and this is where the part of the cycle where urea is produced. This is very, very important. You know why? It's because, again, they'll give you a whole diagram just like this. They'll label all the enzymes. They'll label everything A, B, C, D, um, E, etc., and then ask you, which of the following steps is the step that actually produces urea? It would be D, right? Because this is where urea comes off. They might ask you, which of the following enzymes causes the production, uh, direct production of urea? arginase, right? Because that's what cuts arginine, all right? So they can really ask anything here. Um, and again, urea, what does urea do? Goes to kidney to get urinated out, right? Um, where, what does ornithine do? Ornithine goes back now um, and combines with carbamyl phosphate to turn to citrulline, okay? So this is basically our diagram here. Um, and these are really the majority of questions that they'll ask you uh, on step one. Okay, and if you uh, and again, if any of you um, have any questions on here, or if you know other questions, uh, feel free to comment.